Hi, it's Rob from the Brush and Balcon. Today I'm going to be doing a short tutorial on how to paint a Lamenta's Primaris Lieutenant. The first colour that we're going to use is Citadel Mournfang Brown. I'm going to use this to do his pouches. When we come back, we'll have all the more fine brown finished. The next colour that we're going to use is the Ricard Flesh. It's going to be used for the chest eagle, a few of the little bony parts on him, and the scrolls. When we come back, we'll have all the Rakarth flesh finished. Next up, we're going to be using Citadel Retributor Armour. That's just going to be to do some of the detailing, the little emblems attached to his belt and parts of his sword. When we come back, we'll have all the Retributor armour finished. We're going to be working on some more metallics now. We're going to be going for Vallejo Model Air Chrome. It's the next colour. When we come back, we'll have all the chrome finished. Now we're going to use some Citadel and the fist on red, just to do a few of the smaller details. When we come back, we'll have all of the fist on red finished. Next, we're just going to be using a little bit of Vallejo black. When we come back, we'll have all the black finished. The final base colour that we're applying is Vallejo Flat Flesh, one of the Flames of War colours. If you look for an equivalency table for Vallejo paints, you will be able to find that on there and the new name of that paint. Like so. Now we're moving on to the shades. The first shade that I'm going to use is Citadel Cassandora Yellow, and this is to do all the yellow armour. If you watched any of the other videos, you know that I'm usually quite liberal with shades and I'll just splash them on everywhere. For this though, I want to try and get the yellow as close to all the grooves and into all the recesses as possible, because yellow is a nightmare to paint over anything. So, by trying to get as much of it into the recesses as possible, you don't have to worry too much about having to paint over it all again. When we come back, we'll have all the Cassandora yellow finished. Now it's time for Seraphim Sepia from Citadel. I'm going to use that on all the bone colours and his skin. When 
When we come back, we'll have all the Seraphim Sepia finished. And I'm just going to use a tiny spot of Caro Bird Crimson. That's just to do his mouth. Like so. Now we're moving on to Citadel Druchy Violet. That's just to do all the reds. Like so. The gold is going to be shaded with Arax Earth Shade. When we come back, we'll have all the Grax Earth shade finished. The final shade that we're going to use is Citadel Null Oil. I'm going to use that for all the silvery metallics and also do a really light coat of it on his hair. One thing about using the light colour as well is when you're putting the Null Oil on, you want to be as careful as possible so that you don't overlap and go onto the yellow. Because the darker the colour, the harder it is for the yellow to cover it. When we come back, we'll have all the Null Oil finished. Now we're going back to the yellow armour, and for this we're going to be using Citadel Uriel Yellow, just to give that its first layer of paint. Now I'm going with this brighter shade of yellow, mainly because when Dave did his post on the blog about how he did his Orc Blood Bowl team, they were a really nice vivid shade of yellow, so I've been following his method of painting them quite well, but it's slightly tweaked because Dave uses an airbrush and I tend not to, so this is my version of his paint job, but if you have a look on the blog at his Blood Bowl team, you'll see that they're a really, really nice shade of yellow. When we come back, we'll have all the Uriel yellow finished. The next colour that we're going to use is Citadel Flash Gits yellow. I'm just going to add the highlights to them. I'm going to start by doing just all the areas that are going to catch the light from above. When we come back, we'll have all of the Flash Kits Yellow finished. With the Flash Kits Yellow finished, I've just added a little bit of white to Flash Kits Yellow. We're just going to do one final highlight. This is just going to be over the very tops of things and just to add a little lighter edge to any details. When we come back, we'll have this final yellow highlight finished. With the yellow finished, I'm now going to move on to what was probably the most awkward part of the model, and that's the shoulder pad with the checkers on. I'm going to start by painting that white. Now this will take a couple of layers to get it smooth, so if you need to keep adding layers to it before you move on to the next step, do so. When we come back, we'll have all of the white finished. Okay, now we're going to be working on the checkers on his shoulder pad. You can see I've lightly drawn the lines on with pencil. So now all we're going to use is Vallejo Black to start filling in the checkers. Now what you'll probably find is that when you do them, you will go into the white areas, but that's not a problem. We can go back and touch those up afterwards.
when we come back we'll have all the checkers finished okay now that we've got all the checkers done you can see on the top you've got the space where the heart and the blood drop will be going here so all we're going to do is use a little bit of white we're going to even out some of these squares get them so they are completely square we can paint out all the pencil lines that are remaining When we come back, we'll have all the white finished. Now we're going back to Citadel with my fist on red. When we come back, I'll have all the Mephisto on red finished. Now we've just added a little bit of white to the Mephisto on red. I'm just going to highlight these gemstones. Now I've just added a little bit more white to that mix. Just going to give it a further highlight. Just add a little bit more white to the mix. We're going to give this one further highlight. And finally, we're going to use a little bit of pure white to add some dots to it. With a bit of a reflection down the bottom. A dot up towards the top. Now the final thing that we're going to do with these gems is go over with a little tiny bit more the fist on red. Finally, I'm going to use a tiny little bit of Citadel Duty Violet just to darken up some spots within those gems. Like so. Now we're just going to do the purity seal. So we're going to use a little bit of Wasdaka red. That's just to do the first highlight on the wax. And then we're going to add a tiny little spot of white to that. We're just going to highlight the extreme part. Like so. I've added some Fire Dragon Bright to the Mephist on red. We're just going to highlight the loincloth. Like so. Now we're just going to add a little tiny bit more Fire Dragon Bright to the Mephist on red and do one final highlight. Like so. Now we're just going to start replacing all of the car's flesh back onto the chest eagles and the ribbons. This will be the first base before they separate it into their different colours because I'm going to have the chest eagles looking a very bone like colour.
when we come back we'll have all this Rakarth flesh finished. I've just added a little bit of Citadel u shabti bone to the Rakarth flesh. We're just going to do the first highlight on this chest aquila and the one on his shoulder pad. When we come back, we'll have all this mix finished. Now we've added a little bit more Ushabti bone to that mix. We're just going to do one final highlight on the Aquilas. When we come back, I have all of this highlight finished. Now we're just going to work on the scrolling. We've added a little bit of white to the Rakarth flesh. We're just going to do the first layer of highlights. Like so. I've just added a little bit more white to that mix and we're now going to do the final layer of highlights on the scrolling. When we come back, I have all this highlight finished. Now we're just going to start reapplying some of the Retributor armour again. So this is going to be on all the gold parts. We're going to be highlighting this just to give the gold bits a bit of a shine. When we come back, we'll have all the Retributor armor finished. Next we're using Citadel Liberator Gold. We're going to be using that to do highlights on the gold bits we've just painted. When we come back, we'll have all the Liberator Gold finished. Now I've just added a tiny spot of Vallejo Model Air Chrome to the Liberator Gold. We're just going to do a final highlight on the gold sections. Now I did try Sigmarite, the Citadel dry colour, in one of the last videos I did. And it wasn't quite as bright as I'd hoped it would be, so I'm going back to using Liberator Gold, the tiny bit of Vallejo Model Air Chrome to it. It seems to give it a little bit more of a, almost like a silvery finish, where it looks like the light is catching the gold, so you're getting that bright reflection that you get off shiny metal. When we come back, we'll have all of this highlight finished. Next, we're using some Necron compound. I'm going to use this just to give some highlights to his blade. When 
like so. Now we're just going to work on the pouches. We're going to go back to Mornfang Brown, just reapplying some of that onto the pouches, leaving the Agraxa shade in the recesses. Like so. Now we've just added a little bit of white to the Mornfang brown. I'm just going to do one highlight on the pouches, mainly around the edges, and some of the bits that are sticking out a bit further than the rest. Like so. The final thing we're going to do for the pouches is use a tiny spot of Vallejo Model Air Chrome just to do the buttons. Like so. For the sword, I'm going to keep it pretty simple. All I'm going to do is use a little glaze of Gilliman Blue from Citadel. We're just going to use that around the little nodule that gives it power. Like so. I'm just going to use a tiny little spot of Vallejo Model Air Chrome. Just going to use that to highlight the nodule and the little stem that goes down to it, just to make that really stand out as being bright. I'm just going to use the same Model Air Chrome just to go down the front of the blade, so the front of the blade has got a really good shine on it. Like so. Now we're just going to use some German grey from Vallejo, and that's just going to be to do highlights on all of the tubing between his armour. And we come back, I've all of the tubing highlighted. Okay, now we're going to return to his skin. I'm going to use Vallejo Flat Flesh Face. come back we'll have all of this colour finished. Next we're moving on to Vallejo London Grey and this is just going to be to do his hair. When we come back, we'll have all the London Grey finished. We've just added some white to the London Grey, and I'm now just going to do highlights on his hair. When we come back, we'll have all this hair finished. I've just added a little bit of white to the Vallejo flat flesh. I'm just going to put a tiny little highlight on parts of his face.
like so. So just using black to do his eyes, some of the scroll work. We're also going to use it to do the markings on his shoulder pads. When we come back, we'll have all the scroll work finished. Okay, now the final thing that I've just done there is use a little bit of Carabag Crimson just to paint this scar or wound going across his eye. I've done it as a little wound there. And that is the Lamenter's Lieutenant finished. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. And if you have, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any future content. And also think about subscribing to some of our other social media link below. Thanks very much.